Hello friends, welcome to this video tutorial. In this uh, uh, video tutorial, we are going to learn about how we can uh, create a single window uh, that consists all the features like title bar, minimize, maximize, close button. Uh, and have a capability of displaying tests. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can create this single window using C program. So to create this uh, single window in C uh, program, we are required to to write more or like 16 lines of code but please don't uh, panic because these 16 lines of code uh, are uh, common codes or repeated code each time you create a C program you have to write these repeated code so we, it is very important for us to understand these uh, repeated codes if we want to make things simpler. Suppose that this is the this is the output of your program a window that uh, uh, display text hello window. You will notice that uh, all the features uh, in this uh, in this window that that are that is created using using C program, all these features uh, are identical to the windows of uh, Windows operating system. So, in in actual sense your program has not created any window but it accessed the features of window operating system window operating system you know it define all these feature uh, for for developers in windows api so what our program is doing is the, our program accessing window feature or we can say our program is accessing windows api in order to create this windows this single window a c program uh, written for window uh, has two important methods uh, first method is your window main method and the another method is window procedure method this is the entry point of your program it is the first method that is uh, being called when your program is executed and inside this main method we have uh, very important uh, lines of codes uh, uh, I want to explain them uh, these lines of code I want to explain them in, in steps like uh, first step is to initialize initialize windows class members then in second step we register window class by calling a register method then in third step we create a window 
which are being registered in previ previous step we create uh, in next step we create a window uh, here uh, by creating a window means we allocate a memory for the window and for this step we display window by calling show show window method so these are the important uh, uh, tasks which are being performed in main uh, method initializing registering window and creating a window and displaying window now let's talk about the another important method that is window procedure method inside uh, this method is actually responsible for for performing all the background tasks uh, uh, this method is responsible for the performing tasks when user interact with with a window the background task uh, we perform or we write inside window procedure so we can say that uh, window procedure is actually a brain of your C program for window but this uh, this window window procedure method is not directly called by by, by the program uh, this window procedure method is indirectly indirectly called by windows operating system In windows operating system uh, indirectly call this window procedure uh, method through passing a message through communicating through message so let's understand how a uh, uh, window and uh, the program communicate with each other through message so let's understand this uh, by a simple example when user uh, uh, click on close button of the window created by the program uh, this operating system place a specific message inside uh, the the message queue that this operating system maintain for each program so whenever any activity is done on windows uh, of the program the for, for regarding that activity uh, the operating system place a specific message in inside a cube uh, that is being managed by operating system for each program and on the other hand on the other hand uh, uh, the program maintain message loop to retrieve a message to retrieve message from the message queue and then this message is dispatched to window procedure so that is how uh, the program and windows operating system communicate with each other uh, through passing a message window procedure uh, uh, method inside the window procedure method uh, switch is being used to to distinguish uh, between messages through case so for example if uh, we were talking about if user click on close button uh, so for example if user click on close button the window will 
place a specific message and I want to tell you the message uh, that is WM destroy this is the message that uh, window will placed inside the queue and it will be retrieved through message loop by the program and this message will dispatch to window procedure and here it will received by the, the window procedure method so inside the case we can uh, uh, we can perform a task uh, we can simply quit the program or we can we can send a message we can display a message or message box to user that to ask the user are you are you i are, are you sure that are you sure that uh, you want to close the window so I want to give you an idea of how we handle and perform tasks uh, with with the message. So that is how uh, this all C these all this C program actually work in collaboration with with window. Now take a look at the the lines of codes. So this is the the program, a simple program. Uh, first of all we need to uh, include the windows edge header files and uh, here we uh, declare this uh, uh, window procedure method this is our window main method it has four arguments here and these are the data types declared like uh, window handler handler is is a number just like a number which uniquely identifies something uh, here in this case it uh, uniquely identify the created window uh, this is data type for message and it's for the class here we initialize this is we initialize the, the window class and uh, as I was talking about we next step we register the, this window class and the third step that we create a window uh, using it has uh, th by calling this window create window method it return uh, a window handler for the window that is being created using by by uh, by this method and the fourth step we display the window using this show window method and the next is this update window it actually uh, paint the, the, the window and these are the lines for to, for to maintain the mess, message loop to get the message from the window and then uh, translate the message if required and then dispatch, dispatch this message uh, for to, to the particular window procedure method so this uh, uh, main method ends here I've already explained you all the fe uh, features all the lines of code uh, of main method now the another method is window procedure method the brain of the program so to handle the this is the message passed to it as an argument and to handle this message it uses switch and uh, these are the, some messages like uh, what happened when window is created what happened when when the, the window have uh, have to display or to to paint when when user drag or drop or move mouse over the window this uh, message is sent to the program by operating system to repaint the, the display of the window 
and uh, this is the message that is being uh, uh, sent to the program by operating system and user click on close button so here I, I've changed some code here I just write a message box so when I will click on close button this message will be displayed that you have clicked the close button of the window and then our program will exit so here uh, this paint message actually for to to display so here we are displaying hello window text on the window so now let's just uh, execute this whole program So here you can see that our program uh, is executed and it has created a window using window features and uh, it is displaying this text and uh, now I just want to click on this close button so you can see this window message box is displaying this you have clicked the close button of the window so I hope that you have got you have got an idea of how a Windows uh, C program written for Windows work. And in case if you want uh, you have any problem in understanding any code in this uh, in this program, I will write this code on as a comment uh, below this video. So you can copy it and if you have any problem in understanding this code you can ask me uh, through the comment and if you like this video please click on like button and to watch more videos about windows programming using c please subscribe to my channel thank you very much